out of Texas. She was sick on Saturday night and nobody's seen or heard from her since. New 911 audio from a Hart family friend calling for help just hours before their deadly crash. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Dan Tilkin. The friend was asking the sheriff to check on the welfare of one of the women just a day before the family's SUV was found crashed off a Northern California cliff. Our Gabrielle Carroll has been investigating this story and following up for us. She joins us live now with these new details. Gabrielle? Well, Dan and Jennifer, that friend called the Clark County 911 Dispatch Center on Monday, March 26. She was concerned that she hadn't heard from Sarah Hart for days after receiving an alarming text and that Sarah's phone seemed to be dead. She sent out a text message at 3 o'clock in the morning on Saturday morning stating that she was sick, but nobody's been able to hold, get a hold of her or talk to her or seen her since that text message. The friend says Sarah said she thought she'd have to go to the doctor. Prior to calling 911, the friend said she had called local hospitals, but there was no record of Sarah there. For a sense of the timeline here, Child Protective Services was called out shortly to the Hart home on Friday, March 23rd. The text message from Sarah would have been sent pretty much quickly after that at 3 a.m. on Saturday. This new audio is helping us to piece together more details about the Hart family, but this story is developing and we'll have more information coming up at 5 p.m. about a warning sign that happened months earlier. Dan and Jennifer, back to you. There's still so many questions. Thanks, Gabrielle.